Hey everybody, welcome to the Master Wing channel. Thank you for stopping by. The Oceania beta playtest version is sadly gone, uh, but the gameplay is continuing today. Um, I found this video kind of lost in the storage backlog, and I'm reviving it on a post-game commentary uh, because it has some fun Oceania birds, of course, some nice mechanics, and a very competitive game between both players. So let's hop right into the analysis here. Um, card selection looks pretty good. Mass Lapwing, we've already touched on how good that bird can be, where you reset the bird feeder and gain one of each food type. Um, we go with Odwin's Goal. I've, I continue to like that bird. You tuck one, keep one. And the Willy Wagtail is a new favorite in Oceania where you can draw one face up from the tray, a bowl, or star nest. And you can reset the tray before doing so. Uh, we do get to go first here. And everybody's seen this big black bird over here. We go ahead and discard the Nectar to get the Mockingbird and the Raven. Um... We're going to talk about this raven here in a second, but my opponent plays Purple Galanul, maybe getting some free cards. And to play one into the other, I'm going to take my chances with the Lapwing first. So then I can play the Willy Wagtail. Um, I like the Willy Wagtail also because it can go in any habitat. Let me know in the comments if you've had success with this one. But the plan here is to have card drawing ability, food gaining ability, and just build out that grassland. Hopefully that, that card power with the wagtail will be uh, enough to keep us through the game and we don't have to spend other actions drawing cards. My opponent draws birds and because Oceania, this, this layout is kind of known for being strict on eggs, I go ahead and draw cards just to deny the Morning Dove because I think that could be a, a game saver. But then I reveal the Barn Swallow and everybody likes the Barn Swallow. Star Nest, OG, game, tucking bird. So uh, we, we probably deserve that one um, considering that we got to pick up Mockingbird and Raven. I have played against the Raven several times in Oceania, but I've never played it uh, on on our side. So this is the first time that we get to try it. Um, the OP words are, are being thrown around with its ability to gain any food, especially nectar. So we're going to find out and judge for ourselves today. At least that's what this game is looking like. Um... That lap wing that we played really didn't give me as much food as I've had in the past. I think it only gave me three food. And I've had like five different food before. So we go into the uh, forest a little bit, gain some food, burn that extra card. And we are playing the tournament discord house rules just out of courtesy. And waiting till round two to play the Chihuahuan Raven. So next up, I assume, will be the Mockingbird. And I'm pretty sure we don't need this Morning Dove either. End around goal is white and no power, so the Lapwing was also good for that. It also has a beak facing to the right. And Butcher Bird or Bush Tit? Uh, this is a tough decision, but I go with Bush Tit. Um, I'm thinking the wagtail can fuel the bush tit. Um, the butcher bird I do like. I watched another content creator, uh, Wingsplain. Shout out to Wingsplain. He had a really good butcher bird game. But then I played it and it was not as successful. So I'm still on the fence with the butcher bird. It lets you tuck birds under 40 centimeters and then you also get to cash. So it's a two point predator power. It's pretty nice. But at the time, I thought bush tit would be more 
um, reliable. It's guaranteed uh, two points versus a guess. Uh, my opponent has Chickadee and Scissor Tail. Kind of reminds me of the the core game, which is which is absolutely fine. Um, I like seeing the core birds still get screen time in the Oceania expansion. Uh, depending on what game you play, sometimes an expansion can just completely overrule uh, the the base game. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want these original birds to become extinct and, and never played. So here we go. Um, pretty good start here with first end around uh, in hand. Check out this tray. Three birds possible. Bee Eater, Drongo, Crimson Chat. The, the chat lets you discard a food to tuck one. My opponent gets to go first. And they did draw the chat, but revealed another raven. <laughs> um, and I think they got Bee Eater as well. I'm not sure. And I've had some good experiences with the Drongo. And bad experiences. Uh, one of my last uploads, the Drongo just crushes me over the course of the game. Good thing about the Wagtail is I can reset the tray. So here we go, repeating it. That Mockingbird, you gotta love it. Um, I don't think it really matters. And as soon as I click on the Longtailed Tid, I kind of regret it. I wish I would have picked the Cysticola just for denial sake. But it's alright. Um, no big deal. We've used this wagtail for denials and card pickups. So even for Oceania, I feel like we're a slightly slower than what we could be. But I'm thinking all these extra cards I get will just turn into tucks. So I'm not super concerned. And uh, we weren't worried about picking up another Raven, even though it was five points. This is four. I'm happy with it. <clears throat> the rough would not be bad, but uh, you got to look at the opportunity cost here. Um, as we build out this grassland, do we want to spend a turn scoring zero points and drawing cards? Um, want to minimize those turns? I mean, we've got food access, we've got egg access, and we've got card access. So I'm really reliant on this wagtail, even though I'm limited to bull nests and star nests. My opponent is giving us some worms, which is fine with me. And here we go, starting to run this engine. Uh, we discard a couple uh, cards for four more eggs. And... Chihuahuan Raven, this just feels wrong to, uh, <laughs> I mean, picking up two Nectar, right? Like I said, I've been on the receiving end of these so many times. This is the first time that we get to use it. And then we also have some complimentary birds to go with it. You saw me pick up the Sandhill Crane as well. So I'm kind of shooting for the moon here on the on the uh, scoreboard. Since it is post game, um, we are trim trimming up the video a little bit so you can see some action and not as much waiting. Uh, four nectar in hand, three turns left. I think Sandhill Crane is next. Um, and I actually make a mistake. I, I think I picked up four nectar a couple turns ago, and I should have kept a nectar and a seed. Because I'm going to lose out on two points for the Sandhill Crane. So, um, you know, we're, we're nitpicking. It's not going to be a game changer, I hope. But... Uh, I guess that's the trap of the raven. If you think you can always grab nectar and then you have birds like the sandhill crane, you can only get seeds. Uh, you need to be more specific with your food choices. Kind of went into automatic pilot there. 
Uh, my opponent is using their Barn Swallow. Um, I think it's been funded by the Scissor Tail. And they've kind of got a nice little combo there with the Regent Bowerbird. It lets uh, both players uh, get a worm, and then they're going to discard that worm for a tuck for the Crimson Chat. So that's kind of nice, but it is giving us extra worms as well. It's kind of cool that we both built out our grassland. We have five birds already a piece. And I'm scoring one, two, three, four, five, six. And once this sandhill crane gets going, that's eight points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we copy the bush tit. That can be ten. And then we use the raven. So that's a nine point engine already once we get this crane going. And we've got eleven turns left. So if it's not broken, we don't fix it. Let's just run through this thing and uh, start scoring a bunch of points. And I really hope this wagtail can provide something because we are going to run out of egg space here relatively quickly. Reset the tray. Grackle or Chaffinch? Check my opponent. Which one could they use? I guess we go with Grackle here. So we could reset for another bird or take what we got. I decide to take what we have there just because it's guaranteed tucks under the bush tit. Maybe it could have reset. I don't know. We've come to the conclusion, and this isn't universal, obviously, but we like the Oceania board better than the original board. And I say that because the more I play with this, the more the original board, when I go back to it, feels a little unbalanced. Um, to grab one food in the forest, one card in the wetlands, and then two eggs, it, it does feel unbalanced to me. And now I can, you know, discard two in the first slot for two food, Two eggs, two cards. It, it feels like it's more equal. So, yeah, that's my that's one of my takeaways from the beta. And here we are. I think we're playing it a little conservative here. I could be resetting the tray for some bigger, better, higher point birds. Or at least hoping for them. I mean, there's so many... Warblers out there with boldness. There's some star nests, some bonus card birds. And I think I'm playing it a little safe just because um, I have a bush tit that can turn cards into points. So I'm, I'm, I'm just not resetting the tray. I tell you what, this Mockingbird is awesome with the birds we have. If I didn't have the Raven and I just had Crane, Bushtit, Wagtail, the Mockingbird would still be great. And this is the type of reset tray that we like. I can pick up both of those birds. Cassin's Finch and Count Raggy's Bird of Paradise. That's what we need. We need some more egg space. You've seen this drill before. Um, purple Galenul. Carrion Crow. I'm pretty sure that's nothing. This is one of those boards where the game feels very easy. <laughs> and we're not complaining about it. This is a fun part of Wingspan when you have a developed engine early on into the game and the cards are in your favor. Um, I think V-Pole, my opponent, is actually doing pretty well competing. But this Raven, um, I mean, it, you have to assume I'm gonna win every habitat battle 
And so they have to make up nine points some somewhere. Because I'm going to have a three-point advantage in, in all habitats. Um, you know how we feel about house rules. We know, you know how I feel, or at least I think you do, about um, labeling something overpowered. But I, I do want to see this raven beat um, while gaining nectar. I've yet to see it. And uh, this may be a situation. It's not like you can bring your A game and win it. You need your A plus game, I feel like. To beat this raven. I don't know. My opponent could surprise me here. Um, the sandhill crane and the bush tit are doing just as much work, really. But, um, yeah, fortune is definitely on our side here. Uh, we have a lot of boldness, which is also nice. A lot of egg space. I think we're doing okay on the round goals. My opponent has handed us, look at that, eight extra worms so I really wish I had like an Australian Raven I really like that card seven points yellow power let you cash extra food something to get to make use of all this food um, and it's passive as well we didn't play the Drongo but Chihuahua is doing its thing. We play Count Raggies just for egg space. And we're all ready to round four. Thank you for stopping by. I think I have one or two Oceania games left in my recordings. Uh, maybe y'all are tired of seeing this. I don't know. Uh, but, but on Master Wing Channel, we are not tired of Wingspan, so... If you look at the bottom right of your screen, there should be a little green owl. And it just makes it very easy for you to click on that little green owl. And that will subscribe you to this channel. It doesn't affect your life much. It just lets you know um, when we have a new video. And you may want to watch it. So uh, if you feel like subscribing, thank you in advance. 96 points, four turns left. Um, I don't think we're going to break a record. We've had some very high scores in Oceania, but um, we're, we're running out of egg space, and I guess the only struggle here is management of eggs, cards, and this raven, which is a problem to have. I pick up Stellar's J just because it's playable. Only to reveal the Kakapo, my opponent picks it up and continues to hand out worms that I really can't do anything with. Um, like I said, with this Wagtail, I've, I haven't reset the tray much. I've just been taking what it's giving me. So as you can see, three four-point birds, that's kind of what I'm left with here. Um, so we play Stellar's J just to free up some space. There's a Grebe with a Star Nest in the tray. And Bird Bander. I do have that Grackle, which isn't very threatening, but uh, it's, it's five points with the Bird Bander. Um, Northern Cardinal has a lot of egg space, but surely we don't play this. Black Woodpecker is gone. And I think we're just doing some math here, seeing if we need to use this Raven again. Um, we are winning the Nectar Battles as expected. And just try not to accidentally lose a point here like I did earlier. And honestly, credit to my opponent playing, what, 10 birds, uh, utilizing their tucking powers. It's just we've been laying eggs and tucking so much this game. I, I don't foresee this being a close game. Um... But like I said, this video was lost in the storage. 
can't exactly remember uh, the final score here. Do we take the Grebe? Do we reset? And I don't know what I'm thinking right here. I should have reset. That was a bad move. Uh, Tui comes up in the tray. We are nitpicking, but, you know, five points versus three. You never know what's on the other side of that deck. Um, I think I'm doing my math here, and after the Grackle, I just needed for sure two more cards. And so I think I take what I can get with that Grebe. So, so maybe it's not a terrible move. Grackle gets me egg space. It's five points with Bird Bander. It kind of is what it is at this point. Uh, one Nectar left. And I'm seeing a little bit of a bug here. The, the screen says forest, but it's laying in the wetlands. <laughs> so... I had to go kind of back and forth there with that bug. And, yeah. I am liking this game. I'm telling you, V-Pole, wherever you are, I have been on the other side of this. The constant uphill battle. And this Raven is uh, is so powerful. And like I said, you got to make up nine points for this, the, these habitat losses. Um, all right. Landed right on the money with uh, our eggs and blue-winged warbler in the tray that we never picked up. My opponent wins the end of round. Any surprises? Uh, my opponent does have the cockapo. That's right. So what happens? I think they got get to see four bonus cards. Discard three. Something like that. Play the Kakapo a couple times, and it usually pays off, especially when you have a bunch of birds on the board. And here we go. Going to the scores. What you think we got? As expected. Nectar King. This was a fun game. I don't care. I, I hope you were entertained. It's nice to see it. That you can still build an engine in Oceania. And we're pulling away 31 eggs. Check it, 28 tucks and Nectar, 136, 103, not bad at all. Good game to my opponent. I liked the fact, and I said this earlier, that the original core game birds are still viable. They're still worth playing, point scoring. Sandhill Crane, Bush Tit, Mockingbird. And a Chihuahuan Raven doesn't hurt at all. And the Wagtail sustained us. I really like the Willy Wagtail uh, power. I've played it in the forest many times. And my opponent uh, did well hanging with us. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you next time on Master Wing. Peace.